Hip and knee replacements are not only two of the most common, but also two of the most successful operations performed in the NHS. In 2017, there were nearly 200,000 hip and knee replacements performed in England and Wales. In these studies, we've attempted to answer two questions that are posed to us almost daily by our patients. How long do hip replacements last? And how long do knee replacements last? Typically, a hip replacement is made up of two parts. A bit that replaces the ball, and a bit that replaces the socket. Knee replacements are slightly more complex in that there are two main types. A total knee replacement is when the whole knee is replaced so that none of the patient's own joint surface remains. A partial knee replacement is when only the damaged part of the knee is replaced. And there are two main types of this. Unicondylar, where only one side of the knee is replaced, whereas a patellofemoral replacement just replaces the surface underneath the kneecap. We looked at the annual reports of national joint replacement registries with greater than 15 years worth of follow-up on its patients. These are essentially large national databases that keep records of all patients who have had joint replacements and tell us generally how long the hip or knee replacement will last in that individual country. We took the results from all the countries with more than 15 years follow-up and joined them together to give us our overall estimates of how long hip and knee replacements lasted. We estimate that three quarters of hip replacements will last a patient 15 to 20 years, and that approximately six out of 10 hip replacements will last 25 years. We also estimate that eight out of 10 total knee replacements last 25 years, and that seven out of 10 unicondylar knee replacements will last 25 years. We hope that this information will be useful to patients when deciding whether to have a hip or a knee replacement. We also hope that the information will be interesting to patients who already have a hip or a knee replacement in place. These two studies have now been published and they're available for all to read at The Lancet Online. This research was funded by the National Joint Registry for England, Wales, Northern Ireland and the Isle of Man and by the Royal College of Surgeons of England and I'd like to thank them for their support. More importantly, I'd like to thank the patients and staff that contribute information to the National Joint Registry as well as national research databases in any country, as without them, this kind of research just wouldn't be possible.